When you cook food, especially something like an egg, you're actually changing the proteins inside it in a way that can't be undone. Proteins are like tiny machines or structures made up of long chains of smaller building blocks called amino acids. These chains are folded up into very specific shapes. Imagine a piece of string twisted and folded into a super complex knot. This shape is super important because it's what allows the protein to do its job, like helping reactions happen in your body or giving structure to cells. Now, when you heat the food, you're adding energy to those proteins. This energy starts breaking the weak bonds that are holding the protein's folded shape together. It's like pulling on the ends of the knot until the whole thing unravels into a loose, messy string. This process is called denaturation. Once the protein is unraveled, something else happens. These loose protein strings start sticking to each other and forming clumps. This is why, for example, egg whites go from being clear and runny to solid and white when you cook them. These clumps of protein are stuck together with new bonds, and those bonds are much stronger than the ones that held the original shape. Here's the key part. This new structure, the clumps of proteins all stuck together, is permanent. You can't just cool the food back down and expect the proteins to magically fold back into their original shapes. Why? First, the original bonds that held the protein's shape are broken for good. It's like trying to retie that super complicated knot without knowing how it was tied in the first place. Second, the new bonds that formed between the clumped proteins are really strong and can't easily be undone. It's like if those loose strings got tangled together and glued in place. And finally, the heat doesn't just change the shape of the proteins, it can also cause chemical changes. For example, the high temperature can cause parts of the proteins to react with other molecules, making them into something completely new. So when you cook an egg or a piece of meat or even bake bread, you're not just warming it up. You're fundamentally changing the structure of the proteins inside it. And because of that, the process can't be reversed. Once it's cooked, it's cooked. Does that make sense?